Yeah, it's rewind time. I really didn't want to get married, but... We only got married because Gammy was crying. <laughs> well, Gammy, this is what happened. <laughs> when I, it was almost as if Gammy was like, you have to get married. So let's talk about the wedding. I knew, I was like, I never wanted to be married. I, I don't remember that. I remember feeling very strongly and and wanting you guys to be married. I do remember that. Yes. But I don't remember your rejection of the idea of marriage. I remember the rejection of the idea of a wedding. I didn't want a wedding either. She didn't want I was yeah. like, I don't want to get married. And now Gammy done gone to Will crying about, <laughs> I don't want to have a wedding. And now I'm being forced to have a wedding. When really, I just wanted it to be the two of us yeah. on a mountain because I was like, this is serious business. Yeah. Wedding was horrible. It Jada was a horrible <laughs> it, it was a mess. Jada was sick. sick. She yeah, was yeah, very yeah, unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't cope up because she was sick. She, was she sick, yeah. didn't cooperate with we were six anything. Months pregnant. Mm. Guys, let this be an important lesson for all of you when it comes to dealing with women. If a woman isn't genuinely interested in you, if she doesn't have that burning desire to want to be with you, if she's not trying to convince you for marriage or to get in a long-term relationship or situation with her, she's not the one for you. She doesn't really like you like that. And this is what's happening to Will Smith. He's imploding. Everything is going haywire because he forced Jada to be with him. You can't negotiate attraction. You can't fit a square peg in a round hole. It will never work. You'll be frustrated yourself trying to get it in and trying to convince this woman. It's like quicksand. You're trying to convince her, hey, let's be together. I want you to be my woman. I want you to be my girlfriend. I want you to do this. Come on, me, you, me, you. Listen, no matter how much you see a future with a woman, if she doesn't see that with you first, she will torture you. She will use you up. She will humiliate you. Just like Jada is doing, I've seen this countless times. I've had tons of coaching sessions with guys who does the exact same thing that Will Smith is doing. He's trying so hard. He's buying her this. He's doing her this. He's trying to prove his worth. He's smacking people on international television on Oscar. He's doing whatever he can to prove to his wife that I want you. But guess what? It will never work. He's humiliating himself. He can't go to the Oscars for the next 10 years. Bad Boys Movies 4 is stopping. All types of projects he has in the works are being canceled, canceled on or postponed because he wanted to prove himself to a woman. So if you hear a woman say, you got to prove your worth, don't do it because she's going to use you up. She's going to run you down into the mud. She's going to treat you like trash. And then she's going to get rid of you. And you know who she's going to go be with? She's going to go be with the guy who she really wants, a Tupac type of guy, a guy who's a thug or a wannabe Pookie or Tyrone or a South Cena. Will is a good, genuine guy. I believe it in my heart of hearts. You can look at him. He's smiling. But Jada, she's not like, man, I, I just wasn't really into it. I just didn't want to get married. Just think about it. Jada Pinkett Smith. What does that let you know? That means her name is hyphenated and she never was really fully 100% into it. She was half and half, 50-50, one foot in, one foot out. And guess what? The Jada's uh, mother had to convince her, hey, just, just do it. Just get married. Just, just do it. It's the right thing to do. And she's like, uh, she dreaded doing it. it was, she just wanted an open situation. Guys, Jada always wanted to be free. She always wanted to be that, that, uh, that butterfly and that individual who's just hooking up with this guy, going after this guy, doing this. Guys, most women just want to take a carousel break. That's what marriages are for women. They just want to get a little bit of security. They want some resource. They want a roof over their head, some bills paid. And then when they want to get back out there on the streets, out there sleeping around, out there going for guys who they really desire. Typically, guys who don't want to settle down with them. Isn't that crazy and ironic? All these women can have a boyfriend. They can have a, a loving husband, but they want a guy who doesn't want them usually. And that guy is usually a player. He usually has bad boy alpha tendencies. He's not necessarily good for, for a, a, a woman long term, but all these women want that guy. They want to try to lock him down. And this is what happens. These are the ramifications 
of Jada being forced into a marriage, a situation of lifestyle that she doesn't want to be in. She never wanted it. Will is like a conservative good guy. He's a guy who goes to work and comes home and he likes to laugh and he, he has a good soul deep down. I believe that. You can just look at him. But Jada doesn't have a good soul. She's narcissistic. She wants to do what she wants to do. She wants to just live this free life. Look, just look. Look at her kids. Look at Willow and, and Will's son. Look at them. They're all out of whack. They wearing dresses. They, I mean, they just look a total mess. You know who helped create that? That wasn't Will Smith. Guess who? Jada Pinkett Smith. The woman with the hyphenated last name. The woman who has one foot in, one foot out. Who never truly wants to be married. So she's messing up her kids' life and upbringing. Their, their kid, the children's image is just crazy. She, she's teaching them this lifestyle and that lifestyle. And that it's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. If you look at Will Smith's first son, he looks completely normal. He's well-dressed. He's well-groomed. He looks like a heterosexual straight male, a guy who has a good head on his shoulders, who's not, who hasn't lost his mind like his other kids and her. But if you look at Jada and, and, and Willow, look what you see. Crazy hairstyles. I mean, long, just look like they just lost their minds. This is what happens when you get with women who aren't good who aren't good mothers, who aren't good individuals, who aren't good people. This is what happens. You suffer. And she will make not just you suffer, she will make your kids suffer. She will embarrass you over and over and over again until you let her go, until you release. See, Will loves her so much. This is his type of woman physically. But when it comes to morals and values, Will Smith didn't really vet this woman. I'm, I'm guarantee you. Because he'd be like, you know what? This girl, she, she's not good. She doesn't want to be with me. Look at her track record. Look at the type of guy she was with. I mean, just, just look at it. It didn't take a rocket science to see this. It didn't take Ray Charles to see this. Stevie Wonder, look at it. I mean, Jada is an individual who's not built for Will Smith. Jada is built for a different type of guy. And this is, this is, this is shows. It's a sad state of affairs. But guys, let this be a lesson for you. If a woman doesn't really want to be with you, and she's like, eh, maybe, possibly. Or if she's dreading marriage, like she was dreading marriage and the wedding with Will Smith, she's not the one. And, and, and there's a lot of women like Jada who just straight for the streets. They just belong to the streets. They just want to do their thing for the rest of their life. They want to hook up with guys. They want to smash. They want to, they want to just be free. And that's no problem. But here's the thing, once you find that out about a woman, her, that's her past, or she just telling you like, you know, I'm not really looking for a commitment like that. I just want to have fun. If you try to force her into it, or you try to convince her and say, hey, it, it, just, just stay with me. It's like touching a hot stove. You got to keep burning yourself. You're going to try to convince yourself that, oh, it ain't that hot. It ain't that hot. Oh, it ain't that bad. It ain't, hot that, it ain't that bad. And you'll keep burning yourself until you don't have a hand, until there's no flesh in your hand. Until you have no backbone. Until the whole world is laughing at you. Until you uh, lose different projects. Until you start losing your sanity, your dignity. Everybody's pointing a finger. Everybody's making videos and memes about you. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen to you on that grand scale. But still, you're going to be humiliating yourself. It's so important that you guys get with women who want to be with you genuinely, who have no sort of one foot in, one foot out, who's not second guessing themselves, who's not questioning you about your guidance and where you're going, who's a helpmate, who's a cheerleader. It's important and vital because if you don't have that woman, if you have that woman who's like looking at you like, uh, who's, you know, doing things to embarrass you, who's, who's just making your life hard, you're like, man, why, why am I struggling with this girl? Why is she always complaining? Why is she always nagging? Why, why is she, there's something always wrong with her. I don't, I don't even, you're like, what did I do? What did, you know what you did? Nothing. That's just not the woman for you. And until you guys realize this, when you get with a woman who's for you, who wants to be with you, who wants to be there and clap for you and give you ideas and, 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 and help you out with different things, you'll realize that, man, that's a big burden off my shoulders. Because I have a woman who actually wants me for me. Just think about it. Will has all the status, all the money. He's over six feet tall. He's in shape. He looks great for his age. He's done all these different projects. He's made a lot of, he's done so much. But he can't, he can't still 
make Jada happy. You know why? Because Jada never really wanted him in the first place.